it's Christine with Living Water and today I want to talk to you about container gardening. Container gardening is one of my favorite things to do in my garden because I love variety and I like it when the garden is always changing. So I tend to plant annuals and some perennials in my container gardens but for the ease of convenience, for the sake of convenience, you can always plant just perennials and you don't have to touch your, your container gardens more than once a year. So today I am going to focus on building an autumn themed container garden. Whenever you're building a container arrangement, you wanna think thriller, filler, and spiller. And what I mean by that is for the thriller, you kind of want something with some height, something with some color variation, something with some pizzazz. That's gonna be the thrilling part of the container garden. And by filler, this is a mum. So this is going to just fill in the spaces around our thriller, which happens to be a purple fountain grass. So I'm gonna plant the, the, the thriller more towards the back because it's gonna get tall. Here's my other one. I'm gonna do two thrillers, two fillers, and several spillers. So this other purple fountain grass, I'm gonna kind of plant off to the side. Now I have two mums, this beautiful red mum that goes great for autumn, and then I have this white mum. Now if you notice, this white mum did not get water for one day and it's stressing, but I've watered it and it's going to come back just fine. So mums take a lot of water, just keep that in mind. Also when you buy a mum, you want to buy them closed because once they bloom, that's it. You're not gonna get any more blooms off of a mum. So I'm gonna tuck this guy back into here. And then for my spillers, I have some vinca, various forms of vinca that I'll just shove in wherever I can thin them. And I have some ivy. So this is going to be the general arrangement. I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna look at it, make sure I like it. I'm gonna find a spot for this once everything's planted, and then I'll just plant away. And then I'm gonna water it in really good once it's all done. Now, with a container garden, you wanna make sure your pot has good drainage. So that means you're gonna need a drainage hole in the pot, and you're gonna to wanna to plant in a medium that has good drainage as well. A basic potting soil for an arrangement like this would be just fine. If you're going to do a succulent or cactus kind of arrangement, you would wanna use a cactus mix, a potting soil specific for cactus. I'm gonna plant this out. I hope this inspired you to get creative with your container gardening. If you have any questions, please give Living Water a call or if you would like for us to come out and help you with your container gardens. Thanks so much for watching.